Okay. No intro. No nothing like that. No funny business. Today, um, I was told by my fiance while she was at uh, lunch for work that someone messaged her on Facebook and it was a link to a video. Well, of course, she had me call her because it was a very private matter. And, um, it was a video of my ex, my ex Amber. And I asked her, what about it? Because, I mean, me and Amber broke up six years ago, and I don't care to have contact with her. Yes, she's messaged me and tried to add me on Facebook. I won't add her. I've added her once before. We tried to be friends, but it didn't work out when she started trying to add my mom and my best friend, and I asked her why, and we got an argument. I'm just like, you know what? I can't do this. This is, you know, I can't, I can't even be your friend at all. I can't, you know, you're trying to add all these people. My Facebook that you argued with and tried to keep me away from when we were together. So, you know, but she's trying to add me. I won't add her. She's messaged me. I won't really respond. It's very short. Um, so I was curious why, she, you know, about this video. And I was like, what is it? Because I don't, I don't really care what she does in her life. Her life is hers. My life is mine. We've moved on. It's been six years. But, my fiancé told me that she's calling me an abuser and a rapist. That got my blood boiling. Because that's not true. 100% not true. It hurt a lot. And I asked her, when did she post this video? It was back in May. Well, I didn't know. See, I don't... She told me she had a YouTube video. I didn't care to know. It, 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 whatever, you know? It was her life. I didn't want to get involved in her life. Our life is not on the same track anymore. But for this video to be posted, it, it pissed, pissed me off to no end. So when, she, when my fiancé got home, we watched it. I had to pause a few times to calm down. Everything in that video was such bull that I can't even I can't even describe the bullshit that was in that video. Can't even. Now, the time we were dating, I was when we start da started dating, I should say. I was 15 years old. 15 when we met. She's two years older than me. We were together from the time I was 15 to the time I was 18 years old. That is a pretty long time for a teenager. I mean, yeah, there's high school sweethearts, but that's a pretty long time. Now, when I first met her in person, it was in California. Because me and my mom went to California to visit my nana, and she lived in California, so she came and visited for a little bit. Which was cool. We had a good time. You know, it was a good time. You know, I was 15. I was 15. So, we had a good time. Oh, no, I was 16. Sorry, because my birthday passed. Sorry. But I met her online at 15. I met her in person at 16. There you go. Well, you know, we only stayed a week in California. We had to go back. And... Well, I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, our relationship wasn't bad. We talked a little bit. It was pretty good. You know, it was fine in the beginning. Uh, after, after meeting her, it was in July. After meeting her for the first time in July in California, um, she was going to come down for a month because I was going to take her to an anime convention. Stay a month. Whatever. She was supposed to go back. Now, her, I don't, I never heard the conversation on the phone, but as far, and, but this is one of the truths, one, her grandmother said she couldn't come back, I was, I was 16 at the time, my mom was mad, she, I mean, we didn't have a lot of money, when she's talking about her small apartment, we didn't have a lot of money, we were 
decor. It didn't have a bedroom door. It was like a studio with like a wall, like breaking off the uh, living room and bedroom. But we didn't have money. We didn't. I didn't grow up with money. So that's all we could afford. So she had a 16-year-old to raise. Plus, she was just getting into a new... My mom was just getting into a new relationship. And then all of a sudden, there's someone else that's there that she needs to make sure to feed. Yeah, it made her mad. But I fought for Amber to be there because she didn't have nowhere to go. Now, it was because of me that she stayed. My mom didn't want to. But what was wrong is her mom didn't really stand up to her own mother. But, you know, it was whatever. I fought for her to stay. I wanted to be homeless. It was, you know... I felt that was the right thing to do. I don't want to say I regretted it, but the things that happened afterwards, I kind of regretted our whole entire relationship. And I hate to say it, but I do regret our whole entire relationship. I do. So, it was probably three months. Three, four months after we started living together. We were up one night. I was watching something. On TV, a music video, I believe. And, uh, I don't remember why we argued. I don't. I don't remember the argument. But she grabbed my arm with her nails. First time. Any physical that was negative. And I remember that clearly. It shocked me. It shocked me really, really bad. And it was just... I, I didn't know what to make of it, really. I'm 16 years old. I didn't know what... I mean, I knew what physical abuse was, but not really. So, I mean, I was a kid. I was a child. So I just assumed, okay, I made her mad? I mean, when, my, when I would get my mom mad, she'd spank me or she'd like, you know you know, get my ear, or like, you know, the things a mom would do, a dad would do, you know, behave, you know, but, the, so that shocked me, but it, nothing really happened a little while after that, so I was just, whatever, now the thing was she said with the laundry, that's a big false, big false, want to know how I know that, because me and my mom would do her laundry, me and my mom would go do laundry, she wasn't getting up to do laundry, she maybe did it a couple of times, handful of times, probably counting on my one hand. She didn't do it all the time, at all. And me dropping the bag and choking her, I never, ever did that, ever. I, I mean, what's the reason for me to do that? I mean, I, I didn't do it. And I don't know where this story came from, I didn't do it, at all. Now, the places she said about being hit, those were on me. Those were the exact places she hit me. I was the one being abused. And I will say this, I may, I may have laid a hand on her a few times. That was in self-defense. I didn't do it, and I damn well did not rape her. I did not rape her. Period. One time, when my mom and Dave were out, I don't know why we argued, but I was put on the bed. She wailed on me. Beat me real bad. I remember this clear as day. There was... Our bed was in the living room. Next to the bed was a dresser. In front of the dresser was a table. Between the table and the bed was her over me, wailing on me. Did I fight back? Nope, not that time. Why? Because she kept calling me an abuser. So I just took it. I took it. Then she took off outside to the bus stop. And I just laid there. Like, what just freaking happened. What just happened? I didn't even know. At that point, I was 17 years old. I didn't know what happened. I, for I don't know what the argument was. I just know I got beat. 
I've gotten hit before. I went to school with bruises up and down my arms. Bruises. My friends asked me, what's wrong? What, what, what happened to you? Eventually, they figured it out. So every time I would come to school, upset, in tears, bruised down my arms, hands, cuts, scars, Amber again, shrug, didn't say anything. They figured it out. My mom figured it out later on, but I'd have to hide it from her. Why? Because I didn't want her mad. I didn't want her upset. I didn't want her to worry about me. She had so much other things to worry about. So I didn't say anything. Maybe I should have. One time, when I was getting ready for school, Amber went through my phone. Want to know how I know that? I got went to school. My friend CJ sees me, punches me in the arm. What the fuck did you give Amber my number for? What? I didn't give Amber your number. You don't like her. She don't like you. Why should she have your number? Shows me. Bitched my friend out. And I texted Amber. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the hell? Why are you messaging CJ? How'd you get her number? I went through your phone while you're getting ready for school. Okay. That's messed up. That's slow. I'd never do that to you. Yeah. That happened. Oh, another thing? She says that she tries to make herself look good. Honestly. When we were first dating, I got a message from her. Upset. She made out with a girl while we were dating. While she was still in California. Three times. Did I get mad? I got upset. But I was 15. So what am I going to do? Forgive, forget, you're my girlfriend. I was a child. I don't, I mean... Yeah, I was dumb. I was, I admit that fully. Being with her, as long as I was, I was so dumb. So dumb. Another thing. She says that she made friends with Crystal. She wasn't looking for anything. Let me clear up some things for you between that time frame. Before Crystal, there was another girl. Another girl. While well, she was with me. Her name was Paige or something. I know it was a four-letter name. That Paige girl, I'm just going to call her Paige because that's the name I, I remember. That Paige girl sent her money, sent her a Walmart gift card. She sent her things. Yeah, while well, she was with me. And why did she send her things? Because she made me look made me out to be a monster made me look like a monster so she thought she had to play superhero and save amber when she didn't even know what the hell was going on at all well not one bit and then i don't i forgot why her page broke up not really broke up but like stopped talking i think Paige got tired honestly and then she met crystal now, she was talking to Crystal about six or seven months before we, we broke up. No, actually, probably longer than that. Probably almost a year. Talking to her almost a year before me and her broke up. Me and Amber broke up in 2011. So, while Crystal was talking, Crystal bought her so many things when we were together. So many things. I mean... The one that stands out, because it's the most messed up one, most messed up memory, was the freaking iPod Touch, the second generation one. God, I can't believe how far to come. But anyway, that's a different story. She was on the phone with her, and like it, there was an argument starting. And I'm just like, what? Like, what the hell's wrong? So she goes outside talking to her. Comes in. Oh, I made her cry. What happened? What, what made her cry? What the hell? And she was telling me how Crystal was going to buy her an iPod Touch. And it was, the argument was over how much gigabytes it had. Seriously, she was going to buy her a pretty low gigabyte one. A 4.8. The standard gigabyte. And she got mad. 
because Crystal asked, do you want this certain gigabyte or the 32 one, you know, the highest one? And she told Crystal, asking me that is like asking if you want a pink purse. She was so rude about that. It wasn't just, the, I mean, she went off after saying the pink purse thing. She went off on this poor girl and made her cry because Crystal asked a simple question. Do you want this X amount of gigs or the highest one? And Amber was so disrespectful about it. Crystal cried. She bought her an over, it was over $200. Over $200 this girl is spending on Amber. That's not even with her yet. And she's like that. Seriously. It's like, whoa, you should just be grateful for what you're getting. Why are you being like this? She was ungrateful. That's how I see it. It was very ungrateful. Making someone cry over a damn space on a freaking iPod touch. And the thing about my mom throwing a glass ashtray at her head? No. Uh-uh. She was very disrespectful to my mom. She threw a glass cup at my mom. It shattered on the wall. There was still a hallmark when they moved out because of that. Because of that. She was very disrespectful to my mom. My mom never did any of that. Ever. She never laid a hand on Amber. She would get mad and yell because of how disrespectful she was being. But she never laid a hand on Amber. Ever. Never. Did she lay a hand on her? My mom had a boyfriend. I mean, my, my mom's boyfriend and her and Amber didn't get along. There was a lot of fights. I defended Amber. I defended her fully without a second thought. Does she say that? No. Does she say how I defended her against everything else? That was put her way. How I lost friends over defending her ways. No. Why? Because she wants to play victim. Victim. That's all I see is someone playing victim. Her little brother. Yeah. He may have been a little aggressive towards her. He may have done all that. But he did love her. He did love her. He didn't. He. he I've seen text messages between them. When we were together. He missed her. He loved her. He was sorry. I know that doesn't excuse anything. I mean, but she says she wants to forgive and forget. The first person she would need to forgive and forget is her brother at that time. She, I mean, I know she was in foster care. I know all this stuff. I do. She would talk. I mean, she made, had a lot of people online, I hate to say. I hate to say it. I don't even, I mean, she came to me after freaking three years of not talking. Three, four years of not talking. I get a random message from her one day after her and Crystal broke up. And I'm like, why are you messaging me? Why are you messaging me? Because you were an important part of my life. And I said, at one point, not anymore. I don't know why I was... My phone's going off, sorry. I don't know why she felt the need to message me that her and Crystal broke up. Seriously, I don't know. So, you know, I got a few messages after that. And I tried to help her with Destiny, the whatever thing. But, I mean, I wasn't told... Uh, why they broke up, I didn't care to know. I just said, hey, just be honest with Destiny, whatever. Whatever, be honest with her. About how you feel, your worries or whatever. You know, worried about her breaking up with you. Whatever. Whatever it was. I still have the messages. Um. But, see, this, this video that she posted, it hurts deep. Because I would never do that. Ever. I grew up around abuse. Not as bad as she did, obviously. But, I mean, my mom's ex-boyfriend would do, you know, abuse. Not the highest degree, but it was still abuse. I never wanted to be like that. Ever. Like, that's wrong. 
Rape is wrong. I'd never do that to somebody. Ever. Ever. I mean, shit. I, I mean, I'm posting this video probably like an hour or two after I saw the video. I couldn't post it then because, ooh, no. And this, this video would have been bleeped out. I was just mad. Now I'm, I'm still mad. I shouldn't lie. I'm still mad. I'm furious. But I'm not posting this video to make her look bad. I'm posting it to tell you this is not, this is, was not me. This was not what happened. Yes, we did love each other at one point, but she's, she went as far when I would hang out with my best friend, Alex. She's been my best friend since high school. God, we're like, it seems like we're related, so we call each other cousins. But she, when I would hang out with her. She would be okay at first. And all of a sudden, I'd get text messages an hour later bitching me out for hanging out with her. She went as far as to accuse me of sleeping with my best friend. Accused me of sleeping with my best friend. I'd never do that. Ever. No, I cannot sleep with my best friend. That's weird and awkward and no. But I couldn't understand this. I couldn't. I couldn't understand why this girl that I cared about at one point was doing this. I couldn't. Now, I did try to come out to her as transgender before, and she just did not have it. She was mad about it. I remember that. Because when I tried to tell my other ex, I mean, that didn't go over so well neither, but I didn't know how to word it. So when I went to go tell my fiancé, I was scared to death. Why? Because of the way Amber acted when I tried to tell her. I was in a freaking... When... <sighs> I'm trying to calm down. When me and Amber broke up, I was distraught. Because that was the first serious relationship I ever had. I was 18 at the point. When we broke up. I was so messed up from the abuse, the mental abuse, the verbal abuse that I had to see psychiatrists. I had to go and see psychiatrists because I was having anxiety attacks every day. I couldn't even be in my classroom. I would ditch and I would go read in the freaking bathrooms because I couldn't stand to be around people. I just wanted quiet. I wanted to be alone. I wanted to exclude myself from everybody. I had such mental issues from being with her that I ended up for a weekend from Friday to Monday in a mental hospital. In a mental hospital. A place I never even thought I'd ever go. That freaked me out. That made it worse. It didn't even help me. It was scary and it was horrible because it was I was 18 so they had to put me with adults and boy do you never want to go there. Ever. But that was it. I was so messed up from her. I'm still messed up from this. You call my name across the room, I flinch. You raise your hand like you're, like if you're reaching something near me, but I think you're going to hit me, I flinch. An ur of anger because my fiance is frustrated with something. I flinch and I just drooled and I'm sorry, but I flinch because I think she's going to hit me. And she's not. But I'm so messed up from this that every little action that looks like it, I could get hit. Or looks like that I would get in trouble. I flinch. I can't. I don't know how to deal with it. I'm so screwed from it. And it hurts. And it sucks. And I'm sorry this video is so long. But jeez. I don't know what to. I mean. It hurts. To have her make me out to be some monster. When I haven't had anything to do with her, really, for six years. Six years we've, we've, we've broken up. I didn't talk to her for the first three. First three, I didn't talk to her. And then it went, God, it probably been, the most we've talked, I could add it up in freaking minutes. And it's probably a good 30 minutes conversation in all of six years and she posts this six years ago i've been over it i've moved on 
I have a different life. I have a better life from that. I know you're not supposed to... I know you're not supposed to say you regret anything, but I do regret that relationship. Full-heartedly, immensely, because of everything that happened in it. Yes, we cared about each other at one point, but I don't even care to even be her friend. At all. I don't care to be her friend. I don't care to talk to her. I just want to be left alone. I just want to be left alone. And I want her to quit trying to destroy my life. Quit trying to make herself look like a victim. I know she was in foster care. I understand that. But she acts like the world owes her stuff. And I hate to say it. I hate to sound mean. I'm not trying to bash any of you guys who are in foster care or had a bad life. But the world doesn't care what you went through. You are literally a... All, I mean, I'm literally a little bacterial speck on this earth. If I drop dead right now, only the people I... That my family, my family and my friends would care, would mourn. Would the whole world? No, they wouldn't even they don't even know I exist. I'm a second thought to, to the people that I pass in the store. Oh, someone's in my way, I gotta go this way. The world doesn't care about your past. The world doesn't care what you're doing with your life. It doesn't. You just do what you need to do to get by in this world. But lying Making yourself look like a victim, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it at all. You be truthful. You rise above what you were put through. And you don't bash anyone six years later. You don't continuously make yourself look like a victim. You take what made you you. You take the pain, the hurt, everything, and you stomp it in the ground. And you stand up on it. You rise above it. You stand on top of it saying, this is me now. That's not me anymore. I'm going to do what's right for my life. And I'm not going to dwell on the past anymore. That's what I did. After me and her broke up, it took a little while. I was heartbroken. But I took all that pain and abuse and all that. And I stomped it in the ground. And I rose above it. I let it go. And when I let it go, my life became better. I'm not so scared anymore. I'm not messed up in the head anymore. I won't let anyone do this to me anymore. I have a beautiful fiance that I love. I have a little stepson that I love to death. We're on our own. We're making it. We're surviving. I'm planning to do stuff with animation. I'm doing YouTube. Because I let all the negativity go. That's what you need to do. Don't get views on lies. Get views on truth. And that was not a truth. And that was ugly. Very ugly. And I don't... <laughs> and I hate to say this. But I never wanted a vi video like this on my channel. But it looks like I had to... My hand was forced. Now, I'm going to wrap this up. If I missed anything, anything at all, reply in comments, I'll reply to you. Because, I, I mean, I can't even remember what I said, and this video has been going on for almost 30 minutes. So if I missed anything from that video, comment, I'll respond to, my, to what is the truth, not a lie. Damn. Now, I don't edit my videos, obviously. Obviously. I don't have any editing material. <laughs> but that's that's all I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna say about this. Alright. Now if you guys like my videos, if you guys want to see my other videos and you like them, hit the like button, and hit subscribe with maximum effort. <laughs> Freaking Deadpool. But, I hope you guys have a beautiful night. And if it's day where you're at, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And never, ever, ever let someone 
slander your name. Never, if you know something's a lie, you rise up and you tell them the truth. The truth of what happened. Abuse is wrong. Rape is wrong. Don't let anyone do that to you. Even if you think you love them. Even if you think they love you. Don't. I regretted staying through the abuse. If I could go back in time and slap my 15-year-old self, I would. I would. So. Have a good night, guys. Have a good day if it's day where you are. Be good to yourselves. Bye.